What's going on? It's the Three Pointers TV. I'm with my main man, Marty. Uh, it's Arsenal versus Bordeaux Grits or Gretz or whatever it Bordeaux is. Bordeaux Glimp. Bordeaux Glimp. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll keep it. Don't worry, we'll keep it for you, lot. You can laugh at that shit. But anyway, um, yeah, man, Marty, what are you saying, man? I think it was a comfortable win. Um, look, it was good to get the goals. I love seeing Rob Holding get on a score sheet, and I must say, yeah. that was a goal of a centre forward. That head art was absolutely sublime. Take oh, my hat off to him. You got a good view of that. Mate, it was a, it was a really good, really, really good head art. Centre forward's goal. Got to be proud. Coming into the side, scoring, scoring like that. Um, you know, we went 2-0 no up, it was 2-0 no up at half time, it was comfy and then for me there was a period in the second half against a team like that when he brought on Saka, Odegaard and Jesus where I would have liked to have seen us go right up a gear and put a few more goals in. At the end of the day we got the win but when you bring on three, of the, three players of that sort of calibre um, I think you, you kind of expect more. For me, Marquinhos was a bit disappointing. He got hooked at that time. Um, it was nice to see, obviously, the clean sheet. It was nice to see, um, you know, uh, Vieira get on the score sheet again. But there was that there was that period in the middle of the game. It was like set between 65, 80 minutes where it was just went really dead. We had it, we had it against Tottenham, and you know the thing that worries me maybe against on Sunday against Liverpool, you know. If you have that period, you're going to get punished. Definitely against teams like City. Okay, this is a Europa team. This is a you know he's trying out players. He's you know he's, he's testing things out. I get that, and we've got the win. But I have seen that with this Arsenal side, we can sort of go to sleep a bit. The, the, the stadium can go a little bit quiet. Does it concern me? Um, you know, not not at this stage. Can we kick on and go and win this competition? Definitely. You're playing. That, you know the likes of this. I think it's when you get into the knockout stages that we're going to come against slightly tougher opposition. Um, but yeah, it was look, it was a good win. Uh, it was a, it was a good atmosphere. It's a good night out in North London. It's not freezing cold yet, yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll take that all day long. All right, and um, just a couple more questions because I, I, I missed I missed a lot of the game, guys. But anyway, um, Reese Nelson, man. I'll tell you what, he looked sharp, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, do you know what? I, I'll be honest, I, I've been a bit dubious of Reese Nelson, but when he brought, it, brought him on, and he brought him on right late in the game, and he was electric. He was charging down that left-hand side, and he was making things happen. Like Jesus, you know, Jesus and Odegaard, the one thing I noticed with, with Odegaard is the ball sticks to his feet like glue. And with Jesus, with that goal where he clipped it in for Vieira to stick it in, the way he jinked past the defenders and just juggled his way through was was, was just, you know, it's just top draw. But, you know, again, Reece, you know, Reece Nelson, it's nice to see players like that get a run out. Um, and get a uh, you know get a bit of a chance and this competition is absolutely perfect for this. Great for Enketia to get that goal as well. Um, you know he, he, uh, there was a, there was an absolute sitter which he missed at the end, which you'd like to see him put away. And I think that's the difference in calibre between Enketia and Jesus. I think that would have gone in the back of the net. But Enketia, you know, to get that goal and to, it was a, it was a proper goal poacher's goal. Let's have it right. You know, um, so yeah, it was good. Enketia had a bit of a had a, had a had a sitter. Um, that was quite concerning for me. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, did you see it? Yeah, you know, in the second it over half. the bar. Yeah, second yeah. half. It was what 70, 70th, 80th minute. Blazed it straight over the bar. One on one with a keeper. And against a team like this, you'd like to see that this is the games that he's going to get. He's going to get chances like that. He's going to stick them away. He's going to build his confidence. And that is, you know, his seasons and getting the game time that's really going to, um, you know, bring him on and bring his development on massively. Yeah. And uh, we've got a big game on Sunday, a massive game on Sunday, uh, playing against Liverpool. We're back here at the Emirates. Um, what do you think? How do you think that game's going to go? Uh, look, are you, are you confident? Are you confident we could actually get a victory against Liverpool this season? Look, I'm 100%. After, after turning over Tottenham and making them look very ordinary, making them look like a championship side on Saturday, coming here, we got to, look, look, we're winning games. It's hard to say that we're, you know, we, we, you know, to not believe in this team that we're going to win games because we're not losing games. We've lost one game against United. We all know what happened with that. You know that that foul on Odegaard wasn't a foul. The ball goes down the other end. Martinelli puts that in. That goal stands, and the game's changed. He wouldn't throw the kitchen sink at it like he did. So against Liverpool, as long as the, the decisions, you know, there's no bad refereeing decisions, which generally you don't get at the Emirates. It's generally when you go away. Um, you know, at Liverpool, look, Liverpool aren't the team of last season, the season before, and that Champions League winning side. They're just not that team at the moment. 
home. They're going for a little bit of a transition. Getting rid of Mane, I think, was the worst thing that they did. And they really miss him. That link up from Trent Alexander down that side and then coming in to Salah. They really miss that. And, and you, you can see it. Is Van Dijk as good as he has been in previous seasons? Their defending has been a bit questionable. And some of their results haven't really been that entertaining. I mean, they drew against Fulham. We turned them over. You know, they drew last week. And, you know, you, you've got to say that their results haven't gone their way. And they haven't been. They've scored some goals, but they haven't been those you know those clinical finishing teams and putting them to bed they've they've let teams in they've conceded goals then they've fought back and you've definitely got to fancy our chances for them to come here and it, look if we if we put in a serious performance against them and really stick them away that is going to send a serious message out to the Premier League that we are genuine title contenders 100% alright then Marty um, thank you for your contribution and there you have it guys big up the three pointers TV it's only three points don't touch that diet tune in cheers come on peeps what are you waiting for like share subscribe to the three pointers